Governor Lincoln Alexander is in hospital tonight, and we've learned he's been in the intensive care unit since March. Alexander was Canada's first black member of parliament and even has an expressway in Hamilton named after him. Melissa Raftis is live at the Hamilton General Hospital tonight with details on his condition. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Nick. Lincoln Alexander was rushed here to Hamilton General Hospital three weeks ago after experiencing a ruptured aneurysm. He was then rushed into surgery right away, and I was told by his surgeon this evening that his prognosis is very good. That ruptured aneurysm occurred where the major vessel coming down from the heart splits to supply blood to the legs and to the pelvis. The surgeon tells me about 90% of people who experience that ruptured aneurysm die right away. Fortunately for Alexander, he was part of the 10% who do make it to hospital. Alexander's surgeon tells me the procedure he performed is rare and is only done at a few hospitals in North America. This procedure is an endovascular procedure, which is advanced surgery. What we do is we enter the vessels uh, without actually cutting down the belly. We enter through the groin, we put balloons up, and we're able to control the blood flow to the lower body and all the organs. Uh, and that shuts off, in a ruptured aneurysm, for example, it shuts off the leak that's occurring. And then we can repair it with stents, which is advanced surgery. We stent the inside of the vessel rather than the traditional opening up and replacing the vessel. Alexander uh, is expected to be in hospital for at least another week or so. He just turned 90 this January, and his surgeon tells me that had he been younger, he would have been released the next day. So surgery did go very well. Nick? All right, good to know that he seems to be doing okay. Thanks a lot, Melissa Raftis. Live.